disguise yourself a little bit more since they kind of know what your defense is? <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, um, you know, when I was talking to uh, you get into the into the game flow of of things, and you know, we talked to our offensive guys too, and. I think sometimes when you go against four down teams, you never really forget about your camp principles. But I think sometimes when you're, you know, four weeks in a row of going against four down teams, I think you kind of start getting into that groove a little bit. You know, it's like going through a whole spring ball of just seeing that stuff if you don't see it for a month. So, um, yeah, they, they definitely have similar philosophy, similar ideas. And so, um, yeah, we've got to figure out uh, different ways to fool them. You've gone really fast, gone against teams that go really fast the last two weeks. I would say not really that kind of mold. Does that present any different kind of challenges for you guys? Same challenge, different form, because, uh, you know, as Oklahoma and Texas Tech would do it with, as you said, just speed, uh, getting up to the line and snapping the thing really fast. Iowa State doesn't do that, but uh, a ton. They do it a little bit. Um, but they do it with trade shift and motion. So it's not like they're going to just line up and give you, you know, 15 seconds to diagnose what they're in and, you know, every little nuance of it. They're going to move people, shift people around, and, and uh, although the, the tempo might not be super fast, the pictures are going to change, and you're going to have to adapt to them really quickly. So it's very similar in that way. What do you see from Hunter Deckers, the quarterback? I think he's uh, got a really good understanding of the offense. I think he is a... Uh, um, obviously, somebody I think they feel very comfortable with. Uh, it seems like they've given him, um, you know, Brock Purdy was such a such a tremendous football player and had such good command of everything. Uh, it's hard to make a comparison to him, but I think uh, I think he's certainly a guy that uh, um, understands everything that they're doing. I, I don't see that they've changed a whole lot philosophically uh, because they've had a change at that position, and, and so um, yeah, he's a, he's a really good football player. About last week, that made you guys think this was a good time to let uh, Khalid Duke go go up and pass rush more. You know, uh, in fairness to him, you know he's been in, in spots that, uh, and we've had you know injuries and lineup things that have been kind of in flux for a long time. And and so, in fairness to him, he he wasn't doing what he's best suited to do. You know, uh, he he can do that stuff just fine. But uh, you know, to get the most out of him, he needs to be closer to the ball. And so. Um, you know, there's going to be times where he's going to do that, and there's going to be times where he's going to do what he does uh, and has been doing uh, out in space sometimes. But um, I think he plays his fastest the closer he gets to the ball, and so the more we can get him in there, the, the better off we're going to be. What are the challenges with Hutchison? <laughs> uh, the fact that he catches everything and and uh, gets targeted all the time. Uh, he's he's just uh, he's got good speed. He's got really good body control. Uh, I think he creates separation even if you connect on him. Um, I think he he's got tremendous uh, uh, range in his in his uh, catch radius, um, you know, and and I think uh, they do a very creative uh, job of uh, finding ways to to target him. You know, it's not always down the field stuff. You know, I think uh, uh, we obviously have to be on top of him in his in his down the field stuff, and then in the same respect, if he catches balls that are in the under coverage, we got to knock him down right away. I mean, we can't allow uh, yak yardage to beat us either. Close is Nate Matlock. Nate Matlock being 100. Been practicing uh, um, uh, quite a bit this week. Um, I, w I wouldn't say he's uh, quite 100. percent I don't know who is at this point of the season, but he is. Uh, he's getting close. Yeah, he'll he'll play significantly. When you have Felix and Kali lined up on the same side like you did multiple times on Saturday, I mean, how, how frustrating is that for opposing offensive coordinators? You know. It, it, the game's about matchups, right? You know, you talk about Xavier Hutchinson, you know, uh, it's the same interior. You know, you got a matchup with Khalid Duke on somebody. If you can get a Felix a one-on-one, -on -one, if you can get Nate Matlack a one-on-one, -on -one, if you can get some of these guys opportunities, they're going to win more than they lose. And so uh, that's the that's the game. You know, it's just finding creative ways to try to do that. The same way that their offensive coordinator is trying to find ways to get uh, Xavier Hutchinson the ball in space or, you know, Charlie Cole or a year ago or whatever it was. You know, that's uh, that's that's what we do. Have you tried to address some of the communication issues you might have had against Tech, given that you're going to a road environment? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, uh, I don't. I don't know if it was as many uh, issues as it was just flat um, uh, busts uh, uh, with with technique. Um, but uh, yeah, we're, we're we're constantly hammering that. Um, you know, when you're playing a lot of young guys that just don't see the game and process it as quickly. I think the more that we can get guys working together, the better off we're going to be. And we've been we've been trying to hammer that daily. Coach Klein's been your counterpart as the offensive coordinator here for about half a season. I guess if you can count last year, it's a full season. Um, 
you know, or full half season, I guess with six games, bad at math, <laughs> bad at math. Um, you know, what is what have you kind of seen him learn and grow as as an offensive coordinator? It, it takes a while to get in your groove. You know, I, I know that, and and uh, he's starting to find his groove a little bit right now, and and I think that's, uh, you know, once you get into your way and how you want to, um, you know, manage a game, how you want to manage a week, how you want to. Um, anticipating uh, issues before they arise and thinking about them on Tuesday so you don't have to think about them on Saturday. Um, you know, I think that's what that's what the experience in this profession does, and he's, he's doing an awesome job. What do you like about being on the field versus being in the booth? I think I just get a better uh, pulse on, on the players, a, l a little bit better. You know, as an example, last week, and, and uh, you know, I think Coach Kleiman uh, really challenged the guys at halftime, but I, I saw the same look in the middle of the second quarter. I think we were playing really good defense for a, a stretch there. I think through the first uh, 27 plays, I think they had 48 yards or something like that. I mean, it was it was really good, and I think it, it's got to become a little bit, um, you know, I didn't see the same intensity in, at the end of the first half, and as a result, we gave up a idiotic uh, field goal on a two-minute uh, drive and, and, a, and a long uh, drive prior to that and um, I, I think I could see that look in their eyes and I just you know just having a finger on the pulse there to try to reignite that um, is uh, is something that you don't get when you're up in the sky. When you look at the film from Saturday with Iowa State did it surprise you that they only scored 11 points considering how they played? Yeah I thought they moved the ball well um, I don't I think they uh, kind of had some some self-destruction things happen you know uh, didn't finish drives with kicks and um, you know, I, I think they, they uh, probably squandered some opportunities they'd like to have back. But um, yeah, Kansas did a great job. Hat, hats off to them. Um, but but Iowa State's much better, I think, than what they showed on Saturday offensively. Deckers is a guy that's kind of had some some ups and downs this season. What are you kind of seeing out of what what he what he's shown? Yeah, I I, I I agree with you. I think he's you know probably a week ago he'd like to have some things back, but. Uh, but he's he's also on the flip side that looked really good. You know, he looked really good against Ohio. He looked really good uh, um, at, at times. I thought against Iowa. Um, so he's um, you know, experience matters. You know, and he's he's uh, getting into game six now too. So uh, you know, he's he's getting better each week. They lost some guys who've been there for a really long time. How much has their offense changed without the quarterback and the running back you guys have gone up against? Yeah, I mean, Brees Hall is such a good player. Charlie Kohler, the, the, the three-headed monster of tight ends they had last year was as good as I can, you know, anywhere. I mean, those guys were phenomenal. Um, and then Brock Purdy as a, as a trigger man, just uh, dealing cards out there. I thought th th that was as potent offensively and posed more matchup problems maybe than anybody else in the league for everybody. And, um, you know, um, they're, they're doing it now with different guys. I mean, they've got some talented guys. Um, I think they're just probably in the middle of finding out what the roles are for those different guys. With a young first-year quarterback as a defense play caller, do you always want to get after those guys a little bit more? I think you want to mix up your pictures, sure. I mean, I think you don't want to let that guy sit in there and be comfortable, um, you know, just doing what you do all the time and the stuff that he's practiced 100 times. I think you want to be able to uh, change things on him a little bit, and I think we've got the ability to do that. You guys have turned over the ball a lot at home. You only played the one road road game. You didn't have any in that one. Is there any difference or keys to making that happen on the road versus home? Um, you're talking about defensively. Mm -hmm. um, no, I mean I I, I think uh, uh, um, you know I think we just keep playing hard and we keep uh, playing physical and we let the chips fall where they may. I don't you know I don't I don't wish there was a magic turnover defense that I could call and, and get things going, but staying relentless in our pursuit and, and good things tend to happen.